Hello, everybody, and welcome to the next match of the Zelda 1 Randomizer 2024 Winter Tournament. Tonight, we have a match of Legends 19 and Damn Evil in the 1 and 0 group. I am Elso, and I am joined here by Why Must You Hate Me, a.k.a. Yui. Hey, what's up, man? How are we doing? Another fun race. Let's get it. So the way we ended up here is Equations 19 over Catastrophe 5 1. And Jamie Evil took the win over Adagenos in week one. Yeah, in the in the old one and zero bracket, must be nice. But uh, yeah, two two good players. Uh, we were just talking about James been around forever. Equations real good player, so it's gonna be fun. And Equations, I believe, is relatively newer to the Z1R scene, but uh, certainly coming in with a bit of a splash. Yeah, I was, um, I've definitely seen them around in the, you know, the nightly races and things, um, you know, a fair amount. So I know they're definitely getting some reps in for sure. Well, this is kind of garbage. Oh, gross. <laughs> gross. There's worse spots, but not many. Yeah, that's, that's up there. That's definitely up there. At least I've got a 2D flute. So as soon as I get a Triforce, they can just leave the screen whenever they want. Yeah, starting with the flute. That is nice. Just would be happy. Well, there's level nine. <laughs> All right. So you can't get a Triforce out of there until you have the other eight, but technically level nine does have a Triforce. Yeah, technically it does. It does. Well, the problem with this spot here is you can't go to the east. Um, I mean, you can go over one screen and you know do these spots they're doing, but um, you have to make a big old loopy loop uh, to the south in order to get to the northeast, which is a very chunky piece of checks yeah you can thank the lost hills for that where you have to go up 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 the mountain as damn evil demonstrated yep well, it looks like equations is doing just that heading right over also while i didn't quite see where the level nine start spot was if it's anywhere in the center that doesn't tell us anything no i i, I didn't yeah i didn't happen to see I don't even check with nine because yeah, it's, it, it, it could most of the time it could be either one. So sometimes there's a tell there, but expensive bombs, expensive candle. Oh yeah. Now those flashing ropes do tell us we have some amount of second quest. We don't know how much. Yes, we have some di divergence here where Jam's going over to the Death Armos or the uh, Death Mountain Armos. Um, it looks like Equations is doing the opposite. So we'll see which. Which side has the old Armos item here? What will the Armos item be? Uh, it's probably going to be a heart, although I want it to be the ladder. The best, the best item in the game, the ladder. I want it to be a wand. Wand. Wand's fun, too. Wand is probably my number two. But I feel like Z1R, 90% of seeds is, let's find the ladder. Who can find the ladder? <laughs> so let's get that out of the way and... And it's a heart. <laughs> and, yep. That was expected. Um, for me, the Wand and the Magic Key are the two best items. Um, I agree that Wand is like the second best item because it's, it's white sword damage. It has a hitbox the size of uh, Montana. And it's effective against everything that isn't the Wither Robe. Especially when you have red bubbles like this, which it looks like you're going to have 2Q1 two, two, through 6. I basically yeah, it, got off of absolutely minimal information. Yeah, especially with the with the second quest, which uh, you know we should probably go over that really really quick. So um, it's, it's a mixed uh, dungeon, so it could either be one through six can either be first quest, second quest, or shapes, and six through nine has to be one of those three, but not the same as one through or seven through nine. Excuse me, but one of those three too, but it cannot be the same as one through six. So if there is second quest dungeons, we will have second quest enemies. Which brings red bubbles, which makes the wand especially nice. I agree. And I appreciate Meta Sigma in chat uh, confirming that the wand hitbox is indeed the size of one. <laughs> nice. Um. So the reason I say this feels like a second quest one is based off of the start location and what doors we have available to us in the immediate. Also, that triforce drop in that particular spot is another ringery that this could be a 2 key one Well, and there's red bubbles right there. So, well, that, that that could still be, it could still be second. Yeah, I agree. 
Right. As long as second quest enemies exist, the red and blue bubbles will exist in yeah. any dungeon that they can appear in alongside the sword shooting Stalfos and Disco Ropes, as they're called. Where was level one? I didn't even see him sneak in there. Oh, we gotta try uh, I think he's one of the ones at Death Armus. About to find out, alright. As Equations is gonna find our any roads. So like we got one in the desert, one in the grave. One near Death Armos. That's a good sign. Yep, not bad. Well, Ooh. there's the two Recorder on the floor. And a white sword on the coast. That. Okay, you know what? I think ladder's a lot better now. Yeah, now, now we really want this ladder, right? Jam is elected to leave level one. I don't recall if he saw the second item or if he's just leaving due to potentially key block, potentially bomb block. Yeah, I'm about to get the same info that uh, Equations has on the many roads. That is nice. So where, where are we finding the ladder tonight? Uh, any any um, good I'm guesses? Guess... Oh, sorry, go ahead. I, I just said any. What's your good guess? I'm going to guess that it is the white sword item at the bogey era. Ooh, okay. I like it. Which, uh, the bogey arrow is that second quest arrow where the magical sword comes. Yes, is that, that the one that's the, uh, is, it, is it an armor spot? Uh, no, it's a power bracelet spot at the very top of that mountain. I'm so, um, excuse me, I'm sorry, that, that's what I meant, sorry. <laughs> power bracelet spot, yeah. You're good. And also, our tracker, uh, no point, who is keeping us, um, you know, kind of in check and making sure we don't forget things, is predicting that it's going to be the second quest for a All right. So now the ladder nets us not only the recorder, well, we have the recorder, so that doesn't matter, but the white sword, just kidding. So it's just the white sword. Well, it does matter logically. Yeah, yeah. Us. So the dick dogger won't block the ladder, and neither will a whistle block the That That is correct. So that's good thinking. Searching... Oh, go ahead. I said that's good thinking. I, I need to think. I need, I need to, My brain needs to go that far sometimes when playing seeds. Like... <laughs> That's good thinking for sure. I mean, there is there is a large amount of difference between like gamering about a seed, as I call it, and playing it because it's very easy to forget that the starting items aren't taken into account for logical purposes of place. Place. Yes, for sure. That's a gross room. It looks like it could be a push block, but um, I believe Jam cleared it, and I don't think that it pushed. Um, that is correct. Like, so, no push block. Yeah, okay. Uh, Tad is saying they can't remember what they forgot. Well, I mean, that makes sense. <laughs> Jam's going to be our first runner with the candle, and... Equations is going to go a little bit deeper into this one. I'm going to skip yeah. the comfort. Oh, well, that oh, would be a good gross. reason to be blocked out of one. Yeah, no key to... No bombs either, so they're... He might, he might give this room a try, but... Maybe nowhere I'm just going to end up here. At least try to get a bomb drop off of the uh, orange wood room. Yeah, for sure. You I'd be out of there too. Key that. Yes, he could. That would... I, I I don't be... think he'd want to on this low equipment, but you could. Yeah, it'd be, it'd be tough, but it is it is a possibility. Uh, well, two key four is not going to have the ladder. All right. Because that is recorder blocked. Uh, oh. It is, however, going to have the bomb upgrade that I need. What's that? That's mediocre, right? I, I always buy bomb upgrades. If, if I have the money, of course. I love bombs. So, the bomb upgrade is normally 100, so it is discounted. Um, okay. The real question will be how many bombs does it get? So far, both of these levels, the, the enemy sets are not looking very fun. That I'm known for saying Tiki 4 is a good level, but a Tiki 4 full of witch ropes is a mediocre level at best. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely going to have to disagree on that one. Tiki 4, oh. Oh, oh, is the worst. <laughs> and the now worst. there's a Patrick too? It's like the game's trying to make me hate Tiki 4. Oh my gosh, he's doing a good job. It should the be. The game wants me to hate it. Yeah, and, and it went left on him. There's, there's not a whole lot Jam can do there. You could, you could, you could use iframes to get out of that predicament, but it's, yeah, he, he was, he was kind of stuck. 
and looks like Jam is going to elect to leave. And Chat pointing out, you could also theoretically commit to the door of the Packer room. Yep, yep. I'd be out of there too. Ladder and ladders, look, especially that you know the ladder's not in that four. I'm, I'm looking, I'm looking for that ladder hard now with the combat that we're seeing early. Yes, definitely. Uh, bomb pickup for Jam. And level two. All right. Now this I might would dig. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, definitely. Yeah. It looks like a more friendlier enemy set as well. Actually, it might be the same. I don't think so. I think the Koreas are what they were. Oh, it was Koreas, that's right. Set. Yeah, okay. But that's good news for Jam if you're, like, not wanting to spend a ton of time killing with Rose. Oh, yeah. Candle for equations. Three hearts and wood sword. Yeah, no, no thanks. Uh, Zells are also kind of a little annoying because they do that. Yep. Sometimes you get lucky and they roll down on you and the, the wood sword swing can bring him down, but not today. Nope. You will know that, given that it's plus minus two, you'll always know that if you have a magic sword or a bomb, you're still going to kill no matter what. Yeah, just thinking about spreading this game. Yeah, I would, I would try to bomb a little bit. I think you can still go left here, right? Yeah, you can go left in this room. And I think I would get... I agree with Jan that I, w I don't think I'd spend the key yet. I'd wait until the game tells me how to spend it. Wow, Equations finds four. Oh, okay. wait. What's from there now? I expect we'll be leaving very quickly. Yep. <laughs> don't get hit here. I don't want hit and, and Jam's dead. Key blocked. It's bomb blocked. Patra blocked. Squishro blocked. Probably ladder blocked. Yeah, a whole lot of fun so far. Let's root for ladder. I changed my mind. I want the ladder in two for these guys. It's still my bone. I'm still going to vote for my white sword bro hero. <laughs> That's fair. Well, we can have the power race with it, too. That's fine. The shrimp can have a push block. Segmented? Oh, wait. This is a second quest. That's right. I, I mean, it could still be effectively segmented if there's... Yeah. Well, well, yeah, but... Well, Oh! Yeah, no. Let's have the ladder quickly. The case are 2 HP. We, we did confirm we're in second quest, right? For yes. 1 through 6. Um, okay. Based off of the bomb upgrade being in level 4 and the way this 2 is shaped. Yeah, gotcha. Second, um, second quest level 2 is kind of a pain in the butt, to be honest. For how small yeah. it is. Yeah, because it's hard to move around sometimes unless you just happen to have all the bombs and all the Yeah, I feel like like the game only wants you to go, you know, one way pretty much. It feels like. I, there it is. There's the game saying you're only going one way. Yep. Um, something else to keep in mind, folks, if you're trying to figure out if you're in a... Oh, it's the one-way walkthrough wall. <laughs> That's a thing. Whew, not very nice. This this seed's shaping out to be a, a doozy. I love it. Might be here for a yeah. while. <laughs> um So one of the things that can happen is if you have second quest anywhere in your seed, your bomb upgrades um and your meat blocks will be in their vanilla dungeons because second quest does not have enough old men to actively support uh shuffling those around. So, oh. if you're not sure if you're in a 2 2 4 because, well, every level is 2 2 4 pretty much. Um, yeah. If you see a bomb upgrade in 4, that's a dead giveaway. Huh. Good to know. Yeah. It's a little randomizer logic quirk, because usually we run with shapes where you can randomize it and it's no big deal. If there's many of uh, seeds I've ran of this flag set, you'd think I would, I would start to know some of these, some of these things, but uh, to, to be fair, before this, I never played two quests hardly at all especially that the whole mix thing which throws a couple other loops into it but uh, i just recently learned about the, the i don't know how i never noticed the bomb or the uh the mugger in three which almost guaranteed the block you every time yeah the, the meat the meat block in three normally only blocks the magical boomerang in vanilla but when you throw in a uh, randomizer well it can block just about everything including yeah. the force. Oh yeah, and it's a meat block, that's right. 
Uh, level 8 has a similar thing where in vanilla it only blocks the access to the magical cube, but in randomizer it can block the everything. Although level 8, TQ8 has its own problem. Just in general. Oh yeah, we had, we had a doozy one of those last night. Oh. Here's his item right here. What's it going to be? Or it could be on the side of the staircase, huh? Uh, yeah. yes. This is the transport, because they're actually in the same room. Oh, wow. There we You get a little bit of sync action. And this was a ladder blocked room for JL. Oh, so he's a, that's the one he's already seen. That's right. Yep. I just Thank also recently learned that dark rooms can't drop like triforces or items, correct? Uh, they cannot drop major items. They can drop minor things like keys, maps, right. compasses, and boxes. Right. Gotcha. But yeah, you're not gonna get your ladder out of a dark room, and this has not been a friendly two so far. No, it has not. Equation's gonna kill these some of these alls. He's trying to force a bomb, I think, but. Unsuccessfully so far. Is he gonna try one more? Nope, I guess he gave up. A fiber. Oh, is he gonna oh. go for the sword force? Oh, he doesn't have a sword. Oh. That's gotta be it. It's gotta be, yeah, no sword. That's what it is. Oh, and gets hit there. He might have actually had a sword force saved up. There's buyers. There's the. Fun. Interestingly, whenever you have second quest dungeons on, potions start to become a lot more valuable. Not necessarily just from the health standpoint, but to cure the red bubble curse. Oh yeah, absolutely. One of the few ways you can get rid of that curse, especially, you know, in 9. How many times have you... The thing you don't realize, even with a wand you run into, is uh, smoking the dongos. I, I make that mistake where you try to smoke the dongo and the wand does not work, so you're going to need that sword back. Ooh, yes. Nice cool. uh, so this room will not have a ladder. We could have a key, but she would probably be okay with it. At least get his key back. There's not much else I think Jam would want out of here, though. Yeah, it might be just killing it for safety at this point. <laughs> Equation's gonna get a heal real quick. No, uh, get... And Jam is ladder blocked out of the rest of this what? Oh, called it at the beginning of the seed. What do we want? The ladder. <laughs> I feel like it's always the ladder. <laughs> Don't. I mean, the reason I'm saying it's the white sword item bogey arrow is because I know for never finding the ladder. So clearly it's going to be in a terrible place. <laughs> right. So now we're going to start to see some new exploration runners. Yep. Equations with very much like a bomb here. Gets a heart instead. And those Octrox are a bit beefy too. It went up a little bit. Uh, so the old man saying all the same thing uh, is, oh, fifty-four rupee large secret. This seed. Oh, this is not. This is not looking friendly at all. It's not even enough to buy a candle. <laughs> Gross. Oh, there's the magical sword that'll probably never get picked up. Um, but the old men are all saying the same thing because we need a book to be able to translate the old men into actual hints, which will be helpful, although they may not be useful. Yes, very big thing in this flag set um, are, are those hints, especially, you know, very often they can be very, very, very helpful. And they'll always they'll, they'll always tell you something truthful, whether or not you needed to know it. Like Alcoa said, that's. Who knows? And also, the book can be in level nine. So if the book's in level nine, you don't do much anymore. Yeah, I, I feel like I don't get the book much in these flags at all. Like, I just, it doesn't happen very often. It's usually a nine, or it could just be like you know, player bias. But I feel like I don't get it a lot. But there's also the phenomenon of you know where everything is by the time you get the book, or could get the book. So yes, it that, yes, <laughs> that is correct. Equation's considered picking up a meat there, I think. But three may not be meat blocked. Yeah, well, I mean, I think it's a pretty good buy when you're playing second quest first half, for sure. 
Yeah. But that'd be like all his money right now. But those get a bomb pack. Very important. And the, and the never, bur never burn bush didn't burn. Surprise. It's like the never bomb spot in the southwest corner. Yep. Never bombs. Let's see. Okay, no Tiki 7. Tiki 7? <laughs> That's fine. I've never heard it I think Tiki that. 7 like, is. Uh, I get it. It's the one. <laughs> uh, let's see. South Coast. Get some more dungeons. Some more dungeons that don't have a crawling with whiz robes and ladder blocks, please. Chad is pointing out that the meat is one would be more expensive than what a large meat is. <laughs> That's so mean. Here's the other set of secrets. At least a small secret's 20. Or hints, I mean. Not secrets. Yes. I like hints. Wait, do we like hints? I think we like hints, yeah. What about deceptive hints? Well, we don't like deceptive hints. We don't like level 7 either, well... I'm gonna guess this is a 1Q7. Yeah, if I could pick, I would pick shapes uh, one through six, and then no, I take and then uh, first quest seven through nine. Well, I don't know. I, I I want shapes in first quest. I'm not sure which mix. If we can keep second quest out of there, that's good. But it did not happen. Just see. You mean you don't like the giant cinnamon rolls of doom? No, I hate the cinnamon rolls of doom. <laughs> They're no fun. This room's gonna could push right here. Sure way, not sure why he's not pushing. So, if there was a jingle of the item appearing, then that would prevent there from being a push block in that room. Yeah. Okay. Something to do with by clear something to do with the room that you have to clear prevents. So it, it, it drops technically after the enemies were quote unquote dead because there were no enemies. It, it didn't start on the floor. That's what we're saying. Yes. Gotcha. Makes yep. sense. There's the jingle, and Jam finds the magic key in level 3. That is That's... a good find early. Yeah, especially yeah. given you're not going to have your plethora of keys you normally would have, given the uh, setup. Yeah, for sure. Oh, so this 3 is probably me block. Yep, we were just talking about it. Let's see it, watch it come true. Well, there's... Oh, there's a hard head. It's a Triforce. No, no Triforce in there. That's both of those items. You might might get might get away with it. Oh, and there's the staircase to go to the apostrophe. It is amazing how small level three is. And yep, we got first quest seven. Well, that's a big one, but look at that. No meat necessary. Jam's gonna be done with level three and move on. And level three was at the gamble corner. Okay, that's not too bad. Equations will be up there pretty quickly. Yep, so we still need what, five, six, and eight, I believe? Uh, yes. Are you a, are you a Death Mountain or not Death Mountain kind of guy? Oh, yeah. Uh, I think it depends on where I'm at in my route and how many bombs I have. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, well, never mind on the- Oh, but it's six hearts! Six hearts silvers! I didn't see it. What was it? Silvers? Six heart silvers is the white sword item in the letter game. Oh, man. Well, it's still- you still want to see it, though. Well, when Jam gets the Armos heart, if he hasn't gotten the Armos heart already, he's just gonna go ahead and just pick that up. Else why is Jam's looking for hearts now? Thankfully, with the quarter in hand, you can warp back to three to get there. Yeah, for sure. Another large yeah. secret for Jam. Well, large in air quotes. Yeah, a little large, quote unquote. According to the game, that is a large secret. Yes. I, I Speaking of the secrets, I don't know when it's 20. Here's a, here's a new question for you or chat. When it's when it's twenty rupees, is that how do you know if that's a small or or medium? Uh, the minimum number of rupees you can get out of the medium secret is twenty-five. Okay. Okay. Well, I'll tell you now. All right. 
whereas the maximum amount of the small is 20. Nice. Quasion gets his any key. Are there any key? And with the any key in hand, all they gotta do is just go to the Triforce because it's not blocked. But Jay, I'm gonna pick up this heart. Now has enough to get the silvers. Equations is leaving three without the Triforce. Interesting. He's gonna assume that it's blocked when it's not, maybe? Maybe just checking the spot and gonna come back in? Yeah, probably. Nice rupee count. No! They're gonna assume it's blocked. Hmm. I, I don't, don't, know, I don't think... know why. Yeah, you just well, I don't know why you don't just walk up. Check there. Yeah. Like I don't see a I don't see the benefit of assuming it's blocked because if it is, but you check it, you've only spent a little bit of time, whereas if it's not, then you get the triforce when you leave, then you get back to the silvers much more easily once you have some charts. Yeah. I thought Jim would beeline right to it, but um I guess not. I mean it doesn't have the bow, so I guess it's not absolutely you don't have the bow. You don't have the bow, and you can whistle back to three whenever you want. So you don't really need to go out of your way to get it right now. Yeah, that's fair. Totally. Now I imagine once Jam finds the bow, or finds his next triforce, or potentially when he finds his next triforce, he'll go ahead and get it because then you can whistle right back to where you just were. Yeah. For sure. So I I don't disagree with Jam's play to just go ahead and leave it alone for now. Yeah, it makes sense with the whistle on three being right there. He's gonna go back in uh, on pure rat. Okay. Now, I didn't see why. Is... Go ahead. So to say, equations is gonna see that the lost tails is a whole lot of nothing. Oh, I didn't see why um, equations left seven. Was it? If it was combat or? Uh, I think it was bombs. They were very low on bombs going in. Oh yeah. And level seven is notorious for having like five bomb balls in the whole time. Yeah, first quest. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, second quest is supposed to have zero, but second quest also has like five staircase sets. Yeah, I, I was I thought it was it could never bomb, and then I learned um, the hard way that it it absolutely can. It's not, I guess it's very very rare, but it's happened. It's happened to me. Yeah, it's it's one of those things that you doesn't think can happen to you until it does, and then you never forget it. Yep, for sure. I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing, though, because now it comes sometimes we're just wasting bombs when, you know, still the probability is very low that it's going to bomb. Oh, stay alive, Jam. Stay alive. Oh, oh gets the door open. Put the pancakes oh, in front of it. Oh, gets dear. through okay. the door. Um, yeah, it's... Thankfully, oh, level 7 goodness. second quest doesn't have that many options. It's a bomb. Yeah, Usually. for sure. Compared to 1Q, where it, it's like, oh, okay. Yeah, that is that's totally true. I guess we're like at the end of a long journey. Oh, there's five. In the graveyard. Looks like it was at the uh, recorder spot. Recorder spot in the graveyard, alright. At least I think that's where it was. Because I heard the recorder tune very recently before the equation went in there. And what does Patrick guard? Seven. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> Just Patrick a guard is way forward. Well, the Gurias in five guard the nothing. <laughs> uh, Chad I mean, is saying Patrick guards like day. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I can deal with a lot of annoying rooms, but you know what? The, the I think the worst is corner fireballs with with anything that's even remotely annoying. Corner fireballs with uh, did he just force right there, or is that just a lucky bomb? Um, I think he forced. Yeah, it seemed like it was very uh, deliberate. Oh, yeah, because he had a count from the Patra. That's why. And we're hearing from chat that it is one north of the reporter spot is where the uh, level five is. Gotcha. Thanks, chat. There's chat is always board. here to help us out. Oh, we're yeah. yelling. There's some more door strats here. Yep, there we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah, I'm just going to be able to dig a little bit further in this level 7. I'm going to find the, normally the Aquamentus room, but it's been replaced by Zolls. Another Force Bomb. Oh, I thought he was forcing a bomb there. 
I think he's one or two off, but he yeah, should he... be able to get it on the set of Zolls as long as it's so there we go. Yeah. Yeah, he's been surviving this <laughs> very low health. Oh, yeah, man. to survive quad shooter rooms on half a heart is impressive. That is. Might actually be trying to get a fairy force. No, that would be smart. That that would be smart. I'm sure you're, you're probably right. He's got to be close. I think he's on 14. We get the Triforce in five, and this is definitely going to be a drop room before that Triforce is sitting. Yep. Or a uh, push block, I mean. That is a nice mugger room. I didn't see it. I missed it. it the Ruby amount is, well, nice. Oh, <laughs> nice. Got it. Staircase in five for equation. Jam's gonna find the desert room in seven. Yeah, good news for equation. The, the next staircase he sees will be the item. Now, level five can have one horizontal oh, wall. Yeah, oh, go ahead, sorry. So, level five can have one horizontal bomb wall and one vertical wall. And, and it has and it has two transport sets. That's why I was about to correct myself. Like, wait, we're in second quest. That's right. There's two yep. of them. It is not quite a shape. Pam takes a game over in seven. The walking wall has been found by equations and is rewarded with a key and a bunch of windows. Oh my goodness gracious. What a gross room. That's a welcoming party. Rewarded with more bombs. Gonna have to go through that wizard room to get to that, get to those two rooms on the side. Uh, this room, I think, he cleared. Have we seen wizard robes in every dungeon except for one so far? So far, the only dungeons we have not seen wizard robes in are two and seven. Aren't there rules for that with like different enemies? Like enemies, certain enemies can only be in so many dungeons, or is that just with uh, certain flags? It's not a maximum, it is a minimum. All of, there are three different dungeon enemy sets, usually. And all three of those enemy sets must appear in at least two dungeons. Okay, so there's no maximum. Correct. Well, yeah, gotcha. Te Technically, the maximum is five dungeons with one enemy set, but that's just by the other minimum rules. Right, yeah, gotcha. Mathematically, you can only... Gotcha. Yes, we did actual math on stream today. Did math with with a lot of help from Alsoa. We I did it. <laughs> also, that is a heck of a bomb drop for Gav to get off that mini. But... Yes, it was. Was it? The Any in him, but roll it. Uh, okay. There's a, there's a there's a compass. So level seven in first quest is supposed to be the deep. It's supposed to be. But now? it's supposed to be a demon. Oh, demon. Okay, yeah. But I have also heard the suggestion that it's supposed to be an alligator. <laughs> Looks like a lizard to me. Or an alligator. I guess that's, I guess, you know, technically. Technically, level five is supposed to be the lizard, but honestly, we all know that the only dungeon shape that matters is the, uh, shrimp of level six. <laughs> yeah supposed to be a dragon, but it looks like a shrimp. Or a seahorse. Right, Gonna find be... the item in the stair yeah. here for Jam. Ooh. Alright. Not bad, not bad. It may or may not be useful. But given that you haven't found all of your levels yet, you're not gonna skip it. Absolutely not. Yep. We haven't and... seen a floor item, have we? Uh, no. We have not yet. And Equations is gonna try to get through this room. But trying not to spend bombs here, I think I might would consider spending a couple. Hey, it's, it's gonna be rough going. Not bomb, ooh, bomb drop. That's bait. Oh no. That bomb drop is bait. Yeah, you're, you're right. <laughs> Let's see how much more GM decides to dig. Oh, well this is exciting. Jam's either got to wait a long time or go around to kill the Aquamentus. And are you pot committed here on this seven? I guess not. With 
hit most of that the dozen clear with that second item. With the quarter in hand, you have one item out of seven already. Yeah, it probably leave into the play. Yeah. Red candle found on the floor for equations. Alright. Oh, but out of bombs! Oh, that's the worst. That is the but worst that, feeling. That, that wall shouldn't open. Equation's not going to take the Triforce out of five either. I wonder what... Hmm. So, what Equation's might be doing is saying, I'm going to clean my Triforces up later. I'm going to look for items first. And under, no and under a lot of circumstances, there is some value in that. However, comma, when you have both a recorder in hand and Triforces that are relatively free to get, there's not really a good reason to skip the Triforces. Yeah, I'm not really and seeing the logic, like, ever, really, <laughs> if, if, if the Triforce is available. Right, yeah. at least three, there's the, at least three, there's the assumption that it's weak block, but there you know exactly where it is. Right. There doesn't seem to be a good reason to skip it. And then three, we, we knew, I mean, we didn't, it could have been PB block, or uh, bait block, but, yeah, I don't know. Something we'll have to ask right. uh, post-game. Uh, eight may well be ladder block, that's tight. Okay. There's silvers for jam. Just need to find that ladder and that bow. Which it's looking like level 8 slider blocks, but Equations does not have any bombs, so they keep check for some additional rooms. Yeah, we're gonna need that bomb drop. Now, if the ladder is an 8 and it's just bomb blocks. No. I would almost be considering dip into 4, get the bomb upgrade, and come back. Or rather, go to five, get the Triforce, then go to four, get the bomb upgrade, then come back. For sure, that'd be a valid play. So we just have. Have we seen six yet? Just we six have not left, seen right? Six. Yeah, just six. That's all we have left. So the thing is that's been making it a little bit tougher to get items in the seed is, well, the ladder is currently blocking. Uh, Jam has a bow. Was. Bow could have been the floor item in seven, and we just missed it. Jim does have a bow. What? Well, yeah. I did. We're... Huh. Uh, well, that probably well, is the floor item in seven. All three of us missed it, so it had to be somewhere hiding. What was a floor pallet? Uh, was seven one of the weird colors? Uh, I think so. Yeah, it was, wasn't it? it? Must have been on the floor. Yeah. Jim also could have just been standing on top of it when it spawned too. Yeah. Because that does happen. Huh. Equation's still looking for bombs. Yeah, I'd say seven is a good guess, because it had to be on the floor. It definitely wasn't in a staircase. Right. Oh, then I, oh, well, the other never bomb spot opens. This is the curse seed. I think that's safe. Op no, I think it pretty much had to be in seven. Yeah. Well, he's got money, and he's got the silver, so that's another huge advantage for Jam as uh, silver arrows do magical sword damage. And there's the arrow shot. 63 rupees. Which we know will both be ignoring the seed. They both seen those silvers. Yes. Oh, and floor heart on the floor in eight. Floor heart in eight. So, the best thing that can happen for Equations here is that the ladder's an eight. Yes, for sure. But not in that Dodongo room, because that is a room that Equations can't do without any bombs. <laughs> he still doesn't have any bombs. Oh, man, that is the worst feeling. I hate that. That's the most unfun feeling in randos. Zero bombs and just count, just, just needing a drop. Have, yeah. we seen any, have, we, have we seen a bomb shop yet? We have seen bomb shops there 36. We've also seen a bomb upgrade very quickly at four, which may be one of the best options to get bombs. I think that's a great option. The problem with me would be if I was playing and I was equations, I wouldn't have remembered that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if you remember, that's, that's a great option. 
Yes, or just make a little note. Yeah, you start doing that. Um, equations heading up into Death Mountain. Gonna be doing West Death Mountain. Jam is also in Death Mountain, right? Yep. Then we're gonna find six here. Or... Uh, we, we don't we don't have the raft yet, so. What if six isn't one of the ladder spots? Or it could be the ladder spot. Yeah, it could be. So we still have what four screens it could be on that uh, they cannot access. Correct. And none of them are removed by any roads. I would say Jam's having. I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> yep, go ahead. I, was, I would say Jam's having uh, some good bomb luck, but honestly, a lot of his bomb drops have definitely been forced. So he's got to kind of give him credit on that. Forcing is an incredibly uh, strong and important thing to know for randos because. I mean, you can kind of see the results of it right here. If you know, if you're able to force, as long as you keep one bomb, you will always have bomb. But if you're at the mercy of the game, well, another one is a cool mistress. Yep, 100% correct. And you'd think as a vanilla guy where forcing bombs is crucial throughout the entire run that I would have sense to bomb, uh, to force bombs on rando, but I never said I had sense, I guess. Level 6 found for Jam, and... I will say one thing about Rando is it often will throw you into combat situations you've never seen in vanilla. Like, oh, absolutely. This. So, some of the difficulty in forcing bombs in Rando could be that sometimes you just get screens that are really hard to get without taking hit. Absolutely. And also, in, in vanilla, there's, it's a lot, a lot of the time it's, um, you know, it's, it's kind of, it's used this word, but scripted in vanilla. Um, you know, you know exactly what enemies you're killing to get to the certain counts in certain rooms. Obviously, you can't do that in, in Rando, but... Yeah. Yep. So, as a whole, I would say forcing in Rando is a little bit more difficult, just from the standpoint of the variability. Agreed. Whether it's more important, I don't think can be safely said simply because of how much it's integrated into the vanilla map. Yeah, it's absolutely mandatory in the vanilla run. If, if you're going to have any resemblance of a good time, it's absolutely mandatory. But, uh, you know, it, it definitely helps a lot. I mean, so many times in, in, in Rando, I'm dead in the water without bombs. And it's, you know, it's my own fault. Worst bombs, man. <laughs> and Equations is having my level of bomb luck where you just don't get bombs for like half an hour. Yeah, that'll happen. It will happen. Yes. And the game will not be apologetic about it either. Nope, nope, it'll just keep doing it. The more and the more you whine about it, the you know, the worse it'll get. That's what I found for myself. Yeah, it's Trying to get bombs out of Zelda One sometimes is effort not itself. Uh P hats do not drop bombs. So your general guide to what drops bombs is if it's blue and normally on the overworld. Uh, it can drop bombs. If it's red and normally in the dungeons, it can drop bombs. The exceptions are the Gibdos and the Vios. They both can drop bombs if they are blue and in dungeons. Yep, the old blue or red rule. Which will steer you in the right direction most of the time. I keep I keep a chart out. I, even, even to this day, I, I, know, I pretty much know it all by heart, but I still keep a global chart out. Um, you know, just for hints and things. Right. And having a, like, a drop table up during the race, or having an external map up, you know, beyond a tracker if you wanted, um, that's perfectly fine to have open, um, because, well, it's not giving you any extra information on the screen. Yep. We have a boomerang in the stair of level six. Fun. Do you like bananas? I don't like bananas. I put bananas in my smoothies. Well, I can deal with them that way, but I can't just eat a banana, you know, you know what I mean? Okay, you and I are of the same uh, thought process. <laughs> as far I, I as... can't stand bananas. No, yeah, I, I, I don't like them. I don't like the texture. The texture is, is the biggest thing for me. Exactly. It's like weird, stringy mush. Slimy, stringy mush, yeah. In, in, in Z1R, I am actually... I, I pro, I'm pro picking up the banana. How many times do you see a bomb hanging across the other side, especially with no ladder, pick it up? Oh, yeah. 
Plus, if you get like a group of six dolls and you want to force a bomb, well, you can just go stun them and then there yep. you go. Stun a big dogger, uh, child, or whatever you call it. <laughs> and between the regular and magical boomerang, I say the correct one to pick up is the first one. Oh, Regardless yeah. of what the color is. Absolutely. Agreed. So, see, James must be, he must be on the forcing uh, thing again here. Yep. Although, may elect to force a fiver now that he's got that extra bomb. Oh, I'm sorry, and I that... was looking at the equation sign, actually. Ah. Equations now has, well, the equation's gonna buy another bomb pack. And Jam finds the Triforce in six. Good of a luck to keep digging. Still means that ladder. Oh! My goodness! But you have to go around to get it! And you have to walk past the Triforce. Oh boy. That is the most beautiful spot for the ladder I think I've seen in a long time. Yeah, this is a game. This has to be. Yeah, you have to be able to get through here. Yeah. This and this is, is uh, one. Yeah. Whew. Good old 2Q6. It's always six. I'm telling you. It's always six in these flags, it seems like. So Jam doesn't know it yet, but he is in Triforce and Double in this stage. Yep. Um, once he finishes clearing out the grave, he'll see level 8, he'll see level 5, and he'll say, Oh, okay. I can leave. Equation's gonna go pick up the Silver Arrows. May he head back to 3 here? Yeah, well, we'll see if that's, he's gonna do that now. I'm, I'm, I'm still curious about the Triforce thing. If he doesn't pick it up here, then maybe he just forgot. Oh, there he goes. Yep, he's going in. Oh, that was a misplaced bomb. But it does get a bomb chop, so he'll be able to just tap out. Equation's back into three. And it is rando. Anything can happen. We all know that. But uh, I, Jam has definitely built a little bit of a solid lead here with, with both items and, uh, you know, Triforces and things. Yes. Um, and really, the biggest difference wasn't even necessarily Equation's in routing. It was just the lack of bombs. That's really what's led to such yeah. a massive lead for Jam here, is that Jam's had bombs. Yep. It remains to be seen if... Uh, it's, it would be really hard for me, after already having the stair item, this, and going past that Triforce to look for the ladder. So we'll see. Um, the one thing that'll be working in Equations' in favor is he knows he needs a ladder. Yeah. Or they know they need a ladder. Um, so, they might just decide, you know what, I gotta dig six anyway until I find a ladder. Yeah, for sure. But that's one of the things that can sometimes heavily block seeds, is you'll have situations like this where, oh, the ladder's not in a great dungeon, but if they don't really have any other options, then they're gonna do it anyway. Right, for sure. Equations will now see that the Triforce in here is not blockity blocked. Well, let's walk right up to it, and then we'll get a heart on their way. No the troubles. Jam has gone ahead and bought a potion. And given you don't have a blue ring, and likely not to get one, you don't have a red ring, and well, that could be anywhere. Um, I think it makes sense. That spiral pushing always tripped me out. The block. Yeah, that is a 2Q5 room. Which normally has five blue, five or six blue wizards in it. Oh, that sounds fun. I've never dabbled with the uh, with second quest in vanilla. I just started in rando because of uh, these flags. Second fun. quest in vanilla is the world's meanest randomizer. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> I mean, first quest is pretty bad too. It's pretty much everything required except for power bracelet, I guess. Second quest. Second quest, though, is like, oh, walk past the Triforce, do a oh, walk through yeah. wall, and before to get to the rat. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, and to answer the question of who did Equations race in the first match, uh, that would be Catastrophe 573. The Equations is back into one, which is one of the levels that he they did grab the Triforce. But I'm assuming there's a couple items in here, yeah. Well, Equations has only seen the recorder, but has not seen the second item in here, so... Yeah, I think coming back here to look for the second item's okay. Yeah, and then the second quest. So yeah, that's right, there's only one more item. We saw the ladder-blocked bow in here. Or, excuse me, recorder. The chat pointing out that we have left molas. Everyone's favorite item. 
Such a mean enemy. Yeah. The only positive is, is in, uh, I, I don't know about second quest, but in, in first quest, the vanilla run, you don't even see one, let alone have to fight one. I don't think you have to fight them in second quest. I think there's a way to get up to Ganon's area without it, but also the second quest Red Ring doesn't exist. It doesn't exist? It's like three rooms away from Ganon. Oh, oh okay, okay. <laughs> so by the time you get it, you're done with the game. Gotcha, understood. What dungeon hasn't Jam seen? We, we, we know he's in go mode, but is there a dungeon he hasn't seen yet? I know we've seen them all. Uh, Jim has about. not seen five yet. Five, okay. Not so he may continue to yeah. look for items a little bit, given that he might be thinking, well, I might need a little But on the other hand, he does have to Yeah. He's, he's, he's probably in his head looking for Triforces and going. And Equations is going back into four? Okay. Maybe they're getting that bomb upgrade that you talked about. Now they have full bombs, but... I would like to see Jim pick up the uh, white sword before going into 9. He, he definitely doesn't need it, but it's on the coast and kind of free to get right after level 5 with the quick wall wrap. Yeah, with, with no wand and how many um, wizard robes we've been seeing, I would definitely be picking that sword up. No doubt. Oh, Jam does not get a force bomb on that Tanaka. But does get on that one. There's the bomb upgrade. Now, we still don't know where the stuff in level 4 is. Of Triforce, the uh, items, anything. Well, the only and thing we do know is that we probably don't need it. <laughs> Whatever it is. Oh, except for the Triforce, of course. But plus 6 for the bomb upgrade is really good. Yeah. That's going to help Equations out a lot keeping their bomb count up. I don't know if there's something to it, but every time I get a plus six and I get the second bomb upgrade, it's always plus, plus six again. Is, is it always the same uh, in, in the seed? Uh, or the... Yes, the bomb upgrade prices and amount will always be the same. Okay, okay. That makes sense then. Learning. I'm out here learning today. Thanks, Elsa. Not a problem. You can take this. At, you can always take these into the, the matches and Pick up races that you have going forward and become a master player for it. Absolutely. I learn more doing comms than I do playing 100 seeds. Watching other people. It's always a little nuances that even I'm still learning to this day about random little things. Oh yeah, so much information. Now this could be an item room for Equations. Equations doesn't know that the ladder's not in. Yeah. But there's still a couple was... of nice to haves. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's definitely thinking items for sure. He still has the bow and the um, ladder looking for in his mind. In their mind. I believe there's only one staircase in second quest for it, correct? One tra transport. Uh, correct. It is one transport and two items. Yeah. Oh, what takes a death in that whichever room? The jam finds another stair here at level 8. It is a heart container. Yeah, snatch it up. He is Mags eligible now. Have we seen Mags? It was that vanilla start. Oh, that's right. That's right. Now, whether jam decides to try to go for it or not is another matter entirely. Yeah, I'd, I'd spend my time going to that for sure white sword, personally. Yeah. Triforce out of eight for Jam Evil. Yeah. Just gotta go back to five, two, and well, has to find five. And that's over there in the one screen north of the recorder spot in the grave. That's what I have marked. Is that correct? I think that's right. That, that is correct. He's about to. There we go. Jam now knows that he is in Go Mode. Go Mode. But Jam's just going to be looking for Triforces at this point. Yep. 
Uh, actually, ooh, now there is a little bit of a wrinkle in him going to get the light steward. Level 4 is at the vanilla first quest 7 late. And yeah. that's a little bit of a pain to get back to if you go to get that light steward. So Jed may elect to stick on play. Yeah. With wood sword, I think it's worth the time. I don't know if you know someone like Jam does, but. Mm -hmm. And our tracker at that point is pointing out that we do have any roads nearby okay, uh, where the spot where the white sword is, so you can just get that and kind of go. Jam's gonna up A here, and will immediately be greeted with going to the left. To the left. To the left. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're jamming. Oh, no. And Equations finds a heart container in level 4. I don't want to see that. Nope. I believe he have also seen a floor heart. I don't know. I might have pushed that staircase in 5 if I'm jam. Just to check for the red ring. But that's me. Because we know that was for sure a, a staircase. Yeah. Oh, he couldn't. I don't know. He couldn't push the stair. I don't know why. Uh, he didn't click the enemies. Well, yeah, I mean, you have to kill the enemies first, but and then push the stair. Uh, you can push it from the left side, and you will not automatically get the fight. Yeah, you can You can definitely get around that one from the left. It just happened in the seed already. Yes. Uh, Equations did it a couple of times. And Jam has elected to pick up the white sword and immediately head back to Death Arrows, which will get him pretty close to four. Oh, yeah, the old world rap. Duh, that's a... I always forget to do... Another thing that's in vanilla that I always forget to do in Rando is that little world wrap. To be fair, the world wrap uh, sometimes isn't nearly as convenient in Rando as it is in vanilla because... Well, yeah, for sure. Have to be he, there. he just happened to be right over there after leaving five, and yeah. Back to four for Jam. And... There will be no points in any seed where will be required to, like, ladder clip, block clip, roll wrap. All of those right. are just time savers, but are not. Yeah, not required in logic or whatever, for sure. Which is important um, to note, as a lot of times you'll see in these races, screen scrolls everywhere, block clips everywhere. Yeah, it just speeds, speeds things up, and especially block clips. Scrolls are good in a couple of spots on the overworld. But block clips can save ooh, so oh, much There's time. the four heart four. Two hearts so far. I don't foresee Jam going back for the magical sword, even if he gets all three hearts out of four. No, not with white sword. I'm sure he's going to cruise. It's three hearts! Oh my goodness. Equations, wow. on the other hand, they might they might go pick it up. <laughs> or go give, it a, go give it a tug. Folks. 2Q4 is not a good level. Hey, there he is. There it is. <laughs> finally, the seat did it. Finally seeing the light. <laughs> Jam's going to see the heart container and go ahead and pick it up. Uh, I'm being asked who mind controlled me. Uh, Dick Dogger. <laughs> Spikey wanted me to say this is a bad level. It just it never has, I mean... I guess it never has good items when I dig it. <laughs> the only time I end up having something good is when I'm just like, okay, screw this. I'm not messing with this level. Yep. Jam's gonna see the transport. Gonna take it. Yeah, we, haven't, we haven't seen the Triforce or a compass on either side, I don't think. We have not. I'm being told that I'm saying GT4 is a bad level because I'm afraid of that might be taken away. And I mean, no, that's not it. This level that's... 4 is legitimately bad. <laughs> that would be a valid concern. Nobody wants their cookies taken away. Exactly. Especially when they're Oreos. Oh, Oreos are the best. Oreo milkshakes? Yeah, you had one of those? That's... Uh, I've had them... I think the last one I had was a couple of years ago at a time birthday. So good. So good. Oreos and milkshakes go together like... I don't know. Something good. Uh, I'm gonna say... 
Beer and cheeseburgers. Beer and cheeseburgers, there you go. Oh no. Damn. This this is this is why I want to check that uh that five staircase, just in case. Uh so we have a new uh suggestion in chat that uh DD McBeard Man is actually a King Arthur City of Hyrule. <laughs> nice. There's the compass, and it's over in the, the... Yeah, okay. Oh my goodness. Well... That's very far away. And James, back at start. Yeah, that's about as far as it can possibly be away. So, I don't know where the staircases were. Ho hopefully you can take a little shortcut. Yeah. But yes, Jam is playing as Nudie the Beard Man. Warrior Shakes, that sounds good. Anything anything with shakes after it sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> uh, so what you're saying is you would be okay with the Rocky Road don't shake. Oh my gosh, give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> Both runners are in the same room. It's ladder block! <laughs> Oh, God. That's... Wow. What doesn't the ladder block in this scene besides itself? Yeah, Equations is in big, big, big trouble here. Yeah, that's... Trying to keep it exciting, but it's just... A, he's it's just, a tall like, order at this point. Yeah, he's running away with it here. Not much in his way. I mean, he had to grab this two Triforce, and he's he's in mine. Yeah, and he knows First where quest. Two is. First quest nine, though, which is, in my opinion, is the worst nine. I can see that. That would be one heck of a trolley nine. <laughs> yeah, it... Not impossible, but... It's it's gonna be tough to understate it. Yeah. And you're playing Jim. I mean, he is one of the best, so... There's... Just gotta try to hang how you can. The seed feels like it is good for, um, leans towards the skill set of a veteran. There's just so many little nuances to it, and, you know, I, I would be all sorts of back backwards on this one. And combine that with just how tough the combat's been all throughout. Yeah, just crazy hard combat. Wizard robes in every dungeon almost, it seems like. The dungeons that mattered had wizard robes. Equations is now back in eight with bombs this time. Jam's gonna head into this ladder block portion on level two. Uh, it's reasonably likely that the Triforce inherits ladder block based on neither runner getting it on the first pass. Yeah, I don't know with 100%, but we we both thought it was at first. Hmm. And the other thing that's slowing equations down is still being on wood sword because yeah. you know, white sword. A wood sword, yeah, it's just, uh... Uh, this room could have the Triforce. Yes, it could. Oh, Oh, gosh. my goodness! The rich get richer, oh my gosh. Red oh. ring on the floor in a Chevy room in two. Now there is really, really, really nothing slowing Jam down, man. Another heart in Another eight. Heart. Oh. A blue meringue in two. Jam might have looked, might have wanted to see the wand there. Yep, uh, block, ladder the block, red ring, yep. And that Triforce, I believe, is ladder blocked. Yep, this looks like it. Alright, so Triforce in five, Triforce in four, uh, Triforce go. in seven, I think, Triforce and both items in two, uh, maybe Triforce in eight. Uh, second item and one all ladder blocked. You can blame me for that since at the what, very beginning of the seed <laughs> Z1R is about who finds the ladder. Yep. Could that be Zelda right off the rip? Uh, it could be if it was a single set of a room. Uh, she cannot be directly adjacent to the entrance. Oh, well, there we go. Wow. Uh, Jam's just gotta find Ganon. 
Yeah, we are looking for what? what? What are we looking for, actually? Well, we were looking for the compass until Jam picked it up. <laughs> yeah. We were looking for a single shutter door that doesn't open when you kill all the enemies until Jam found that. And Ganon does not exactly soundproof these walls all that well, so we're listening for the roar of Ganon to indicate when he is in an adjacent room. Alright. I don't have now, sound on my end, so we got that we have to have chat tell us when we get that roar. I've got sound on mine, so uh, okay, I'll cool. be able to mention it if I hear it. Um yeah, the contractors that Ganon hired, they generally are pretty good about making their walls non explosive, but unfortunately the budget only allowed for that and not that damn sound. No soundproofing, you know. Also these dark rooms in First Quest Nine will fake you out. Yes, they sure do. Without remorse. So he just wants to try to cover as much ground as possible. He doesn't necessarily have to visit all the rooms, just be in an adjacent room to the rooms. Unless there's a boss, which that's burned me a couple times. Yep. You can hear Ganon's roar through the boss, but I personally am not very good at doing that. Can you? You can actually hear it, like... There's like a little... Me. There's a little glitchy sound that occurs at the beginning of the war, at least for the Patra war. I don't know about the, the Dongo Goma war. And Whoa. if it's the Aquamenis Gliok war, that's the same as Ganon, so that's gonna mask it. Huh. Another thing learned. But I hear a roar. We got one? Alright. Yep, we got one. What's he hitting the staircase for, then? Uh, might not have been able to bomb through. Another heart in oh. eight! Oh my gosh. We might have already known eight is all hearts, but... Jam does not want to be in this side of the slab on it. Well... And where is... Equation's got to be thinking, where is this ladder? Because Equation hasn't even seen six yet. Oh, that's a little rough. Yeah. I mean, you got to be feeling behind if you're him right now. For You know, if you're playing anybody, but especially playing GM. Sure, yeah. sure it's kind of, kind of in panic mode right here. Uh, wonderful Jeff Goldblum. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. Alright, Equations is leaving level 8, haven't gotten the Triforce. Now back by level 1. Let's see where they're heading from here. Dan was hearing uh, Ganon from this, so presumably Ganon is just to the south here. Yeah, it's gotta be. There's the door, there's the Triforce, there's the piggy. There's the pig. Alright. This way he's five rupees short of a red potion. Little stun lock going here. He's got it. Good. Ganon spawn staying on the left side. Ganon goes down, Jam will up egg here, and Zelda's right next door. Yep. Can find, find Zelda's. We're gonna do it. 13 hearts for equations, but everybody. Get your GGs ready in chat for Jam Evil. Heading into Zelda's door. Gotta dodge the left mo gotta dodge the lane mouse, but also his red ring. And that will be Jam Evil finishing with an official time of 107.45. Taking the W and moving to 2 0. Yeah, very very good, very good run there. Just kinda breezed through it, and that was that was a that was a rough seed, man. That was not yeah. an easy one. To, to get that kind of time on this seat is just a testament to get Jim's combat strength and his ability to kind of sniff out where things are. Yeah. Equations does now have the magical sword. Heading back into level 2. I don't know how to do an invite thingy for doing that for Jim. <laughs> just for the record. Let's see here. Let's see if I can set him over his way. My equations is either not seeing that done or maybe one of 
finish this bad boy off. We'll see. Uh, Jam is going to take a quick bio break before joining us here. All right. Totally makes sense. And Patience is going around looking for a way into this level two. We're pretty sure that it's ladder blocked completely. Yeah. So where does Equations have left to go at this point? Well, I have to get in the get in the six for that ladder. It's pretty much it, right? I mean, yeah. The bow's available in seven, but well, that would be helpful. It's not going to be progression. Yep. Um. So there's a couple of things that. So here's the thing. Um. There's no. There's nothing that says a runner has to immediately stop when they see the other finish. In fact, some runners run with the uh, race stream minimized. Um, also, there may be a, a an importance on the time differential when it comes to determining seating in um, the upper slash lower brackets. And also, like, there's just, just the desire to say, you know what, the seed has done everything possible to make me hate it. I want to see it to the end. And some runners just generally like the practice of finishing out every seed they play, regardless of win, lose, or otherwise. But yeah, there's there's nothing that set. There's no requirement for a runner to stop because their opponent finished. I mean, Again, some runners run with the race from close, so they don't even get it. Yeah, for sure. sure yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well, what, what, what are we looking for on the overall? They haven't seen six yet? Yep, they're looking for six. Well, that has the ladder, so yeah, that's... Yes. Looks like you're going to go back into five. Uh, could we guess getting this Triforce out of here? Because we need to get it pretty slow. Bow pickup? No, no one saw the bow pickup. <laughs> yeah. Nobody saw it. We're like, we were all confused. It had to be in seven, I'm assuming. Well, the equations does still need the Triforce in here too, I believe, so N nothing in here items-wise they need, but we do need the Triforce. Yeah, although I don't think they've seen the second item in here yet. I don't think any of us have, have it. I don't think we, we have it all. I think it, yeah, I don't know. Maybe a yeah, magic boomerang. So, all right, equations is going to run in and grab it. Uh, so, Inquisition is now on four Triforce pieces, still needs a ladder. I mean, theoretically, gets into six, gets that ladder, goes to seven. Uh, we, we, we have two pretty much mapped out, just need to get in there with a ladder. Four, we just need to get in there with a ladder. I'm with the Magical Sword, and if you go to two first and get that red ring, you're going to be very, very well armed for that four. Yes. Alright, Equations is up on Death Mountain. We know this is where level 6 is. In fact, it's right here. There we go. Don't walk past... <laughs> Make sure you walk past that Triforce, whatever you do. I forget exactly where it was in route, but I know that Jim had to walk by the Triforce to get to that, to see that ladder. The way that he came, anyways. I think at this point, Equations objectively does not have any other options left. Either the ladder's here or the seat is broken. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> that would make sense, too. And you really hope the seat isn't broken. 
Yeah, it does float in your mind sometimes when, when you get in spots like where you just, what the? I've, I've thought the seat's broken many a times, but it's always just my brain that's broken. Uh, given that I played Seed 3 um, at one point while doing practicing, which was actually broken. <laughs> oh yeah, so you have that, always have that in the back of your mind. Yes. Unpack for equations. Gonna move on to the next one. I did see the stair item in here was the boomerang. So this, uh, this might be it. Uh, I don't actually remember where that was, but this is definitely a room to check. If you're right up. Oh, there we go. It's not, gonna be, not gonna be pleased to see this either. It's like, what in the world? The wrong wooden item. Oh, man. Poor equations. And, oh, you can walk through this wall. Okay. I still don't know any of that. Now, the other thing is, if, walls. Walls if equations ahead. doesn't get a bow out of seven, they may go to nine looking for it because important items and nine is on. Oh yeah, for sure. We still need the Triforce out of seven though. So, I, yes. I, I think I think Jan said it was in the room directly on the way. He may not see he gets the bow, but he should get it. Yep. But the equations definitely needs to get the ladder out of here. There's no getting around it. Yeah. As soon as we see that where that Triforce is, I don't remember exactly where it was, but as soon as we see where it's at, we know it's right catty corner to that. Yes. Interview me! We are joined by GM people or winner. Hi. Uh, okay, so how are we going to do this interview? Who's getting the binoculars? Oh, jeez. <laughs> Wait, am I that far away? Uh, depending on your location compared to our location, yes. Yeah, probably, maybe. Maybe. There's a ladder on the floor that the uh, equation passes. Yeah, the wrong side, though. <laughs> yes. Um, uh, so, the big difference maker in the seed wasn't necessarily the ladder itself. It was a lack of bombs on equation side for about 20 minutes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, Just that'll having... that'll do it. And 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 whiz ropes. There yes. are a lot of whiz ropes. Yeah, that that was that was that was the big thing I saw was the straight combat. I mean, it was this combat. This, this dungeons were crawling with horrible combat. Whiz ropes, dark nuts, and uh, I think which would make, this... make most people struggle. I think this is the worst combination with second quest first half and first quest second half. It really is is tough because you have to deal with bubbles with, and then whiz ropes on top of it in the early dungeons. So it's like the, all the easy progression that you normally get in these seeds was just blocked. Was you couldn't get hearts, you couldn't get you couldn't get through dungeons. You needed keys, you needed the ladder, you needed everything. So it's like you had to do the high level dungeons first and get lucky. Uh, along the way, and thankfully I did. Uh, I was just, I, 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 at one point in time, I was freaking out. I was like, "Where is everything? Oh God, I'm making, I'm, I'm 30 minutes in, I've made no progression." Wait, uh, at, least the, at least the game gave you the any key for free and didn't we block you in three. That is, that is true. But I did. There were a lot of cheap meat shops out there, and any key was, yeah. This is the first actual. Uh, this is the first tournament seed that I've gotten the any key early and it was useful so this was awesome you talk about the cheap meat shops but uh they were still more expensive than what you would have gotten out of the large secret uh well yeah i mean but at least it's first mixed you know you have that out you have three large secrets so even it's still better than second mixed you, even if they're 50 apiece <laughs> yes second miss second mix the only difference between second mix and your second is uh level five is open basically yeah, right, okay, yeah, right. Because everything else is just terrible. Right, yes. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Starting fact, this is a start with Whistle Seed, which is excellent. So I, I had the nice early fast travel, to, at least to level one, which I got you know the Tringle four minutes in. So that was yes, that was nice. I didn't have to I didn't have to go back there much, but uh, it definitely made routing easier. It, I, I got to one shot almost everything. I got to do all of Death Mountain in one shot with the power bracelet and the recorder. I got to do all of the coast in the. It was just it was it worked out really nice. Like. Uh, yeah. You picked up a, a bow just without anybody noticing, including yourself, almost. I, I, I pressed, because I heard, you know, you hear the bomb sound, like when you pick up a bomb or an item, it makes the same sound. So I was like, that was either a bomb or an item. Let me check my inventory real quick. I looked and I'm like, <gasps> I even looked at my candle. And I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> because that was just unexpected. I'm like, let me just check one more room. What's one more room before the Triforce? It was the room. <laughs> there is a piece of advice I was given that you always check. Well, not always, but you usually, if you're still looking for items, it's better to like go the extra one or two rooms around the Triforce to clear around it, yep. especially if it's deep. Oh Which, yeah, the Triforce Seven was deep. Yeah, once I had that bow and knowing the location of the silvers, get able, being able to pick those up early really, really spread everything along my combat went from wood sword to magic sword damage and that was just at that point i was just like all right tringles 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 where are the tringles yeah from Walmart. <laughs> it was uh it was a good scene i've really enjoyed these scenes overall really great job by uh by the creators of this tournament um they're they're engaging they're a lot of fun they're challenging the puzzles are good uh, I mean, they're usually, they're always good. It's, it's Fred's randomizer, so it's it's always top notch. Uh, You'll I'm, be moving up into the two and zero bracket. Nice, nice two and O's. Uh, That's is gonna miss the red ring. With all That's... those hearts, do you need it? I mean, yeah. yeah. That depends on how much you like fighting push-ups. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It did help me a little bit. Uh, I used to, and I still used a potion fighting that patch. Where I was like, I'm not taking any chances. I need to get through here. Let's just keep going. Better potion. Spend the potion and not die. Potions are great. Um, yeah, it was the, it was the last possible potion shop, and I was like, you know what? Let me let me let me pick that up just in case. I actually needed it. Uh, red bubbles. Yeah, those are scary. Yes. Those are so scary. Uh, in, the, in the back of my mind, whenever I see second quest dungeons, I'm like, oh god, I'm going to lose my sword. I'm not going to be able to get it back. I'm going to have to go out of the dungeon to a fairy. Ugh. <laughs> Let's get the potion instead. We did have a little bit of discussions based on just you showing off all the vanilla tricks, uh, kind of the differences of where the vanilla tricks become very useful in rando versus or just little time saves, but not really required in any way. Oh, which strange sure. rules the block clips that stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. World wrap was the big one that I don't ever use in I don't ever use it in Rando. I always forget, but it was very so we're like, how's he gonna get over to that white sword it's too far away? Like, oh, world wrap. That's right. Big so. Yeah, I picked that up right before going to uh to the last two dungeons because I was like, oh these two dungeons have whist robes. <laughs> let me Yeah, let me get the combat just in case. This is the worst combination too, I agree. With second second quest first and first quest second half is just gross add in wizards yeah. and ugh. It was I don't I don't know how he finished it so fast. I was like, wait, it's done. It yeah, that it was the combat. It was the, the bow. If it wasn't for that early bow, then I would still be playing right now, I'm sure. Yeah. Because because I would be digging through all of the dungeons, probably seven last to look for the floor item. That's right. That's... <laughs> They're gone. I was just making fart noises with my mouth. Exasperated fart noises. <laughs> also considering that important items can be a nine, you don't even have the benefit of saying, oh, I'll just not look for it a nine. Yeah. Yeah, in this scene, uh, I guess Raft could be a nine. Uh, we're yeah. missing a Raft, a wand, a book. There's some item somewhere that hasn't been looked at yet. We don't know where. Uh, oh, as, far, uh, as far as important items go, yeah. Wrapped. Yes, but there is still an item in one at large. It's fun part. Yes. 
Yes. Uh, I have to study my second quest maps. That's what I've noticed. Because uh, when I was in 6, I was like, oh, this is level 6. It's first quest 6. I'm like, wait, why can't I bomb up here? Why can't I bomb left here? Wait, there's a second path? I was like, oh, yeah, I remember this weird looking hook nosed elephant level, <laughs> whatever it is. I don't know. <laughs> I, I always thought it was supposed to be Link's hat. Hat. Oh, that's a good way to think of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Supposed to be supposedly demon that is level 7, but I've also heard this would be an alligator. Yeah, we had a little debate on that. And it looks like a lizard to me. There's two lizards. But... Whoever told you it was an alligator was just feeding you a load of crock. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I heard it. And with that, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of my evening. Uh, good luck on the rest of the race here. Uh, if you need need me for interviews again, just ping me. Uh, but, uh, yeah. A lot, of races, a lot of races coming up for the rest of the week, and uh, I'm looking forward to the wheel on Sunday. All right, yes. man. Sounds good. Yeah. Thank Take you for joining us. Time. Yep. Bye, everyone. Later. Later. So Equations is about to finish up level four here, and the wheel is definitely the most major thing happening on Sunday. Definitely. Oh, yeah. I can't miss the wheel. Yeah. Well. Equations? Oh, yeah. So. He's... Sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Um, the question is really going to be does Equations find the bow in seven before coming to nine? Yep, that's exactly what I was gonna say. <laughs> so now we're gonna, now we're gonna see if he, if he gets that bow. It could be pretty close to being done here. Although, I could see a very valid argument for going to one right now and checking that second item. Actually, yeah. Uh, could a world wrap to pick up the white sword and also get over towards level seven faster? Well, he has mag, so I don't think he's getting the white sword. I mean, he's getting the white sword, but. Not for, not for a reason. It might, it might just be faster access to this area. Cause I yeah, believe probably, yeah. Here. And you, sadly, you can't dual wield swords. Yeah, that would be cool, though. I'm still waiting for the ability to dual wield shields. <laughs> just don't well, bash things. That would be cool. Well, they're definitely going to 7. So. Yep. We'll 7 makes ball. the most sense here. You, you still gotta get the Triforce. I guess the bow was on. It was one room away from the Triforce, but a jam was talking it. It sounded like it was on the was other a, side of the way you came in. It was a couple of rooms away, but depending on how Equations routes this, uh, he may go in anyway and just get it. We're gonna have to have a Hawkeye here to even see where, where it comes in. Yes. Uh, to answer the question about the other thing going on Sunday, I root for uh, Doritos. <laughs> there we go. Uh, now this Gliok could not have the Triforce uh, because it's in the dark room. And right. Gliok's cannot be in rooms with push blocks. Right. There's a fiber on the ground here. No item. Kind of on the ground. I believe that all the goods were way up on the top, right? Yes, although Equations has... Oh, no, Equations is not. Yeah. Uh, and there is a suggestion uh, from JM to uh, put the wheel on the contestants and then spin around the contestants. I like it. As somebody who already has balance issues as it is? Sure, why not? I'll just be stumbling on the floor afterwards. Oh, hi, Patra. Oh, wait, no, never mind. Just kidding. I gotta stop myself there. Just need to get the, the floor, the floor, or the uh, stair item yet. But I guess not. Uh, they have not gotten it yet. That is correct. Um, so Patrick's a terrible roommate. Patra? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's allowed to just go through walls whenever he wants. Yeah, he does do that. 
Mushrooms aren't much better, but at least they're quiet. My favorite is the um, on the pole's voice on the overworld. They, they like to screen scroll on you when you're trying to screen scroll. Yeah, the, the pole's voice... So, the pole's voice are cast bots because they can do screen scroll and hunt clips with no setup. <laughs> yeah, right. You just do it. See, there's the door. There's the mugger. There's the nice mugger, I see. Gonna play the bomb, though. I mean, yeah. if you have no team, why not? Yeah, and... No, Equation no. is closing in on the room with the bell. Alright, eyes peeled. Did it drop or was it a static? It must have, must have dropped. It had to have been a drop. Yeah. This should be the power bracelet. Yeah. I think you're right. No. Or not. We're hearing it's a maze room. Well, someone actually saw it? Uh, I guess. Alright. Looks like Equations is going to elect to go this way. This will hopefully push them in the direction of that bow. And so, okay. Let's talk a little bit about some of the funkiness that happened in first quest, second quest, next. We have cross dungeon room shuffling enabled. What that means is that your second quest rooms can show up in your first quest dungeon. This is your push blocks, and this is your maze room drops that oh, normally man. would be in these dungeons. How do we miss that? Um, I think it sounded like Jim was just in the center of the room when he picked it up. Oh yeah, he was standing on it when. All right, so we are in go mode. Yes, Equations is probably very happy to not have to go dig nine. Now Equations will be able to take out this Aquamanus a little bit more quickly than uh, Jim Evil did, just not having to wait for it to come over to double bomb it. But both runners able to take it out from the center. Off to nine. Like, you know, they haven't played this seed bad. I mean, it's it's it was it was a really really rough seed, you know. Honestly, it really just came down to me. It just really came down to the bombs and Jim having the earlier bow. But yeah, the bombs, well, uh, even then, were like this gigantic thing. Yeah, I mean, oh. uh, Jim did a lot of foursome. Equations is going to miss the early Zelda and Compass, but that's okay. Um, depending on what this is, uh, they may be forced to go that way anyway. Hopefully, they will, I don't think they'll take this without needing items, but we'll see. Oh, they're a stair taker. Uh, it's, it's not a terrible idea if you want coverage. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm team. Keep going until, until I can't, and then start taking stairs. But then again, I'm terrible at nine, so what do I know? Equations does get a much faster Ganon. So, there we go. Did we hear him already? Yeah. Equations oh, wow. Is... Okay. Yeah. Up and A and you're done. Yeah, if equations, the... equations will probably dig in this area a little bit because you, know, you dig in your Ganon if you don't know where Zelda is. Yeah. But Equations is a fantastic shape to go ahead and just wrap this one up. Oh my gosh, yeah. Really was... good nine. This could be the perfect nine. Yeah. Well, let's check the cubby down here. Yep. Yeah, I'm probably walking up until I hit something and then going right back to the middle there. Now, Jam did find a walking path over to Ganon, I think. So Jam may... Yeah, uh, he did. Equations may well be able to just walk back to Zelda. Yeah. me I would, I would i would clear this entire nine before finally going back to the second screen of the dungeon that's what i, I like would that, do the same thing. that happens a lot so it's I, easier I, when you know you're like what are you doing go back to start but you know i would do the same thing yeah it's once you're starting to explore an area nine you don't want to leave it 
You don't yeah. want to leave like one or two loose rooms because if you do, that's where Zelda will be. Yep, every time. Like if you leave the start, that's where she'll be. <laughs> there is a theory that has absolutely no basis, but it sometimes feels like the game moves things based off of where you go. <laughs> yeah, right. It does feel that way sometimes, doesn't it? All right, dead end up here. This is where maybe we might get up. Was she looking for a compass? I guess. Uh, yes. Even in nine, if you're not, if you don't have a Zelda room, you can still play rooms looking for a compass. And that can, yeah. And compasses can drop and drop. I'm sure. This looks like it could be here, but we know it's not. Yep. There's the map. I pick up the map just because I like seeing it too, even though we know what it is. And it can also make tracking uh, your stairs easier. Track yep. if you haven't, haven't been to what Bob Mall's a uh, bit easier. So. Yep, exactly. That room doesn't drop. There's not a ton of. There's not necessarily a ton of good reasons to skip a map at nine. And again, on the first quest nine, I can kind of see it because you already know the map layout. But definitely not in the Shapes 9, or Tiki 9 definitely and... Not. Definitely not in the Shapes 9, yeah. Yeah, Tiki 9 is up in the air. That one's probably the most understandable to skip. Oh yeah, he knows this is not Zelda because it's not opening. So. Right. But he may still want to go that way, and may Yeah, still... yeah for sure. He's not going to this. Fun fact, if you give an Aquamentus Coke, it does not explode. <laughs> yeah, at this point, it's hard to weigh what's faster, just get into more rooms or clearing room for compass. I don't know. I'll probably just be going. Yeah, I don't know which of the two would be faster. I think if they're easy rooms, you go ahead and clear them. Yeah, for sure. Just wipe it out real quick. But like whiz robes and things, nah, I'm just keep going. Yeah, take, there comes take, a point where you gotta say enough's enough. So, okay. Ooh, it takes us right back to the name of the beginning. This this might net an up and A here if we can't go anywhere. One of the few times the death warp would actually be quite useful. Yeah, oh there it is. Here's the up A. There we oh, go. There it is. That's gonna do it. As long as equations goes north here. That's all, yeah. We'll figure you out. And they do. Alright, so GG's out in chat. Equations well will be finishing up with an official time of 1.36.47. Not bad for this one at all, I'd say. I'd be yeah. happy with that. <laughs> Con considering the bomb luck and lack of really bow, mm -hmm. Equations played it as well as they, they played it as well as they could. Also, GG for sticking it out. I, I'd be too, you know, too mad. So I yeah, give, give, give respect for that. Definitely. Okay, it looks like we're gonna be joined by equations. Just a second. There we go. We are joined by Equations, GG. Hello, GG. So, there were two things that ended up being the key difference makers. Uh, one of them was that Jam had the bow out of seven earlier in the seed, which kind of allowed him to really get things rolling. Understandable, yeah. And the second was you had my bomb lock. I don't know what... I don't know what... <laughs> yeah. That's if I had the bomb be... luck, I might have gotten into seven. Yeah, things could go easily. Yeah, twenty minutes, half hour differently. Yeah, the the bombs and bow combination were the big two. Because from what we saw, you were playing the seed very well. Yeah, kept trying to get into eight. You know, one Q eight, three items. The dongos everywhere, bomb walls everywhere. Of course, it was when I was out of bombs. Couldn't find them anywhere. Yeah, it's yep. always such a help, helpless feeling. We've all been there, but 
Yeah, it could have been a whole different uh, series of events there. It was it was that bow. And, he got, and, and the bow and ladder, of course, but that bow early, with that, with that terrible combat, and he had silvers very early, and that's what caused the separation. But, I mean, this seed was a mess, so... Very oh yeah, when I saw him finish at 1-0, whatever it was, I, I knew he had the bow sooner than I did. Yeah, it, sure. it, it also didn't help that level 4 and level 8 was in one. Yeah. Yeah, 4 I think I saw almost every room of. Yeah, 2 I saw pretty much every room of. Yeah, just your typical took the wrong turn every every chance I got. It happens. Still one and one though, respectable. So you get thrown into the one and one pool next week. Anybody in in particular you're looking to face? I haven't thought that far ahead yet. Uh, no, not really. I haven't even paid much attention to who's one and one. You mean you one and one? I'll take you on. Yeah, I'm one and one. That's right. We've had quite a few late night uh, TTP matchups. Heck yeah, that would be awesome. Let's let's will it into 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 existence. <laughs> See what we can do. Get the suddenly wheel of doom on my side. Suddenly a $20 bill appears in the wheel. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> That's a joke. But yeah, no, not not much to say about this one other than, uh, yeah, if, if he had the bow, pretty pretty straightforward if he had that early. Um, secrets weren't doing me any good. 54 for the large, I think. Yeah, we're the, literally the... Almost everything was more expensive than the large secret we were making little jokes of. Yeah, you yeah, wouldn't even pay for uh, wouldn't even pay for a coke with a large secret. <laughs> yeah, yes. nope. All right. Although it was pointed out, it is still better than pure second quest because in a mixed second quest or pure second quest money seed, well, you're only getting one large secret. So even if it's one fifty, you're still better off. Yeah, but I don't hate myself enough to play those. <laughs> yeah, right. Look, this seed made me say that TQ4 is not a good level. <laughs> yeah, it was a three. You know, I posted not oh. too long ago in the in the clips of uh, my first race had a had a two Q4 that I think I saw seven rooms of. So this was my payback. Oh man, that, that's the dream two Q4. And then of course the three hearts, <laughs> three hearts and four, three hearts and eight. I mean. And it wasn't like a, a, a rich getting richer thing too. Like he, he like found the red ring. It was just like, oh man! Like if you guys were you were trying to catch up, every item you saw was a heart, and every item he saw just kept making his money. life a little bit better. We're like, oh my gosh! It's like this could not be going any worse. It's so unfair. But oh, yeah. if I look at happens. my timeline, ladder one eighteen, red ring one twenty three, bow one thirty. Yeah. He was already finished by the time I got the ladder. Yeah. Crazy. The only thing going for me was mags. Which, yeah. it is good that you went and picked that up because that definitely sped up a lot of your uh, cleanup. Oh yeah, I knew once I had that I could be zooming and then the red ring, you know, game yeah. set match at that point. And you did have the quicker Ganon find because you took that stair and that just led you right to it. Yeah, we were kind of like, or I was kind of like, what's he doing taking stairs? We're like, oh, just kidding. This is why I'm terrible at nine. Like, he <laughs> went straight to Ganon. It was pretty cool. You know, I feel like I mentally flip a coin every time I go into nine. Am I taking stairs today or not? I took it, yeah. and then I stopped taking it for a few minutes. It worked yeah. out semi okay. Yeah. Yeah. Right on. So, I think, unless anyone has anything further, uh, that may do it for us here uh, over on SG1. All right, yeah, thanks for commentary. I'll be sort of looking forward to watching this back, although I'm not sure I want to relieve the pain. Uh, thanks for the commentary. Thanks for the tracking. I think Opno on the tracking. Uh, always appreciated. All right, well, thanks, man. Good game. All yes, right, I will... See everybody throughout the week and I'll be back next week to try and get back into that winning winning record. Sounds good. I, I do want to say thank you to our two runners, Dan Mimel and Equations, putting on a wonderful race for us. Um also want to give another shout out to our tracker um Otno Point, keeping us uh 
making sure that we look like we know what we're talking about, because I probably don't. <laughs> as well as my co-commentator, Yumi, for uh, joining me and yammering about Zelda for, well, an hour and a half. Dr. Roman, thanks for having me. Uh, so I believe coming up here, and I'm checking the schedule to see how many minutes it is. Uh, oh, and the form broke for me. One second, I gotta go put this in a different browser. Uh, we do have Captain Green versus BT back up coming up, I believe, on this channel in. Oh, I can't read today. Uh, eight minutes. <laughs> All right. I guess we gotta wrap pretty, it up, huh? <laughs> yeah, that, that that's a pretty good reason to go ahead and you know tell everybody to go give our runners a follow. Been on a wonderful race. Go give our tracker at no point a follow. Um, as well as my co-com Yumi and. Thank you to the Speed Gaming Family channels for uh, allowing us to uh, host this race here. All right, good night, man. You too. Stay tuned as uh, Captain Green and WeBeeky.gov is coming up in now some number of minutes. That is eight or less. <laughs>